Hi, I'm Father Chris Alar at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy, and welcome to Ask a Marian. Carl from Cottonwood, Arizona asks, I keep getting questioned by my non-Catholic friends about Mary. For example, they say the assumption is not in the Bible and calling Mary the Queen of Heaven is blasphemy. How should I respond? Well, Carl, we covered the assumption last week and since the coronation or the queenship of Mary is coming up this Sunday on August 22nd, let's talk about that one for a minute. All right, in Christian tradition, long before there were any Protestant religions um, out there, the Trinity was often depicted as placing a crown on Mary's head. This sacred tradition, which Paul talks about in 2 Thessalonians 2.15, where he says, hold fast to the traditions that I show you or teach you, both oral and written. This is why the Catholic Church celebrates the memorial of the coronation every year. This year, however, it falls on a Sunday. And since it's not to the level of a solemnity, it's actually not celebrated. Well, okay, maybe not liturgically, but we still should in our heart. But again, it is usually celebrated every August 22nd. It has been placed eight days, remember that, the power of an octave, it's placed eight days after the Solemnity of the Assumption, which was August 15th, completing an important octave of Our Lady. Now, it shows the bond between Mary's queenship and her glorification in body and soul next to her son. God assumed Mary into heaven. And then Jesus took her to a throne on his right-hand side and crowned her Queen of Heaven. Well, Father, where is this in the Bible? Show me in the Bible where this is. Well, we also talked about that last week, that just because something isn't in the Bible doesn't make it false. Okay, we have to look at the fact that Jesus is the king in the line of David and in the Davidic kingdom. Who was the queen? Well, it's interesting because the king had many wives. So who was the queen? Was it the first wife, the oldest wife, the prettiest wife? No, in the Davidic kingdom, the queen is the mother of the king. See 1 Kings 2.19. Now, she had the function of counselor to the king in regards to many matters. Since Jesus comes from the line of David, why would he change this? The answer is, he wouldn't and he didn't. If the queen was the king's mother and Jesus is now the king, it is fitting that Mary is the queen mother. And if Jesus is the king of heaven, that makes Mary the queen of heaven. So, queen of heaven, or in Latin, Regina Caeli, is one of the many titles used for Mary in sacred tradition. You know, as Catholics, we often get criticized for that prayer, Hail Holy Queen. This is blasphemy. No, as you can see, it makes sense. This does not mean that we worship Mary. Catholics don't worship Mary and we never have and never will. You know, as Bishop Fulton Sheen used to say, millions of people hate what they think is the Catholic Church, but very few, if any, hate what is actually the Catholic Church. And Mary's an example. We honor her as queen and we call her blessed because in Luke, 1 Luke verse 48, Mary says all generations will call her blessed. Pius XII in his 1954 encyclical, The Queen uh, to the Queen of Heaven, says Mary deserves the title because she is mother of God and because of her intercessory power, as we saw, for instance, at the wedding feast at Cana. You know, John Damascene said, when she became mother of the Creator, she became queen of every creature. Remember, in 1 Kings 2.20, King Solomon, and who was he? The son of David, that line of kings in the, in the line of David, said to his mother Bathsheba, who was seated on a throne on his right-hand side, he said, make your request, mother, 
for I will not refuse you. So again, why would Jesus change this? So Mary's queenship is a share in Jesus' kingship. And scriptural basis is also found in other places too. Song of, Psalm, uh, Song of Songs 4.8, the Psalms, uh, Psalm 45, verse 11, and in the book of Revelation. There, Mary is the woman clothed with the sun in Revelation 12. It says, quote, A great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. Wow. You know, it goes on to say that this woman would give birth to him who would rule over all the nations. This has to be Jesus. So the woman, as his mother, has to be Mary. She had a crown. That makes her a queen. And it says she's in heaven. So she's the queen of heaven. Again, that is what we, why I should say, we, we, we have this tradition in the Catholic Church. Now, Mary is queen not only because of her divine motherhood, but because God has willed her to have an exceptional role in the work of salvation. She's not our savior, but she plays a role. That's why the litany of Laredo calls her the queen of many things, the queen of martyrs, the queen of apostles, the queen of confessors, the queen of virgins, the queen of all saints. You get the point. Remember, the queen doesn't take away from the king. The queen leads us to the king. That's Mary's role. Yes, Jesus is the only way to the Father, but there are many ways to Jesus. You know, um, how did Peter find Jesus? Peter found Jesus because of his brother Andrew. Andrew brought Peter to Jesus. Who brought Nathaniel to Jesus? Philip. I brought my family to Jesus. And there's no better way to Jesus than his own mother, for she formed him in her own womb. So that's why we Catholics honor but don't worship Mary. Now, non-Catholics say that we worship her because we pray to her. Actually, to pray to something or for something doesn't mean to worship. Rather, prayer means to ask. You know, years ago, court documents used to say things like, the defendant prays the court will do this or that. Well, that wasn't worship. You know, um, you worship Mary, people will tell us, because you call her blessed. Well, Elizabeth called her blessed in Luke chapter 1, verse 45. We do that as a way to honor her for the role that God chose only for her and no other human for all eternity. And that's why in Luke uh, first chapter, verse 48, Mary said, all generations will call me blessed. So if Mary said all will call her blessed, why shouldn't you? Thank you, Carl, for a great question. God bless you and keep them coming because this is the beauty of our faith. And remember, to Jesus through Mary, not to Mary instead of Jesus. That's not what we say. And what we teach and preach is she's a gift given by Jesus on the cross as our mother. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.